good day. I was asked uh, to do a tutorial over a mansion over the hilltop. So what I'm about to do here is very, very simple tutorial on that. You can find the sheet music online if you just search, search for mansion over the hilltop, PDF or piano sheet music. Uh, copy I've got is out of a hymnal and I got it off the internet. Uh, it's written in the key of C and what we know in the key of C is there's going to be three chords involved. The C chord, G7th, and F. And because I've just played long enough to go from C to F, we need a C7th. To walk that up. The bass line is very, very simple. Um, you just have to do a bouncing bass. Okay, very, very simple. Um, I'll walk through it just with the simple chords so you can get a feel for the song. And this is sort of how you would play it out of the music. I'm not reading the left hand, I'm just going to put a chord in. <coughs> Excuse me. But it'll give you an idea. Now to bring it in the melody a little bit more, I like to bring the melody line in right at the beginning with the left and right hand. bass in which if you don't know how to do a syncopated rhythm or stride it's the first of the chord and the fifth so for C it's C and G for F it would be the F and C Bring it up. 
up an octave for a reason. We're going to just play it with a couple notes in the right hand as we're reading it. somewhere in close to the proper time, it will sound beautiful. So I'm going to bring my melody in with my left hand for the first three notes because I love that build up. I'm going to play it as a full chord. With my right hand I'm adding a fourth note. I'm just going to play it about three or four notes at a time as an octave. That's what makes it sound fuller.
again is simple. It's your typical church. about is rolling what we call tenth. That is a definite stride pattern. It's not totally necessary. You can also do a fourth, one, two, three, four, or fifth. And you can also play it inverted. But a tenth is just a nice clean sound. And I'm competing with my chimes. But hard thing with that is a lot of people cannot stretch that with their hands clean. I can't do it all the time. So you roll. You have a broken arpeggio. Well, there I'm doing just the inversion of the chord. I'm leaving the C out. These old Southern Gospel songs are wonderful to do that because you really can't screw them up. You can miss half the notes of the melody and they still sound good. People know the melodies. They can hear a little slide. You can do arpeggios. people singing along with you. It just fills in beautifully. Anyway, there's my basic tutorial on how I do that. And if you listen to my style, you'll, you'll hear, especially when I do gospel, a lot of just simple runs, a little twang thrown in. As I discovered country twang and my playing improved drastically because now it covers all my screw-ups. But anyway, good luck to you. Have some fun with it. And just remember, Start with the simple chords like I did and build it up. Do, build it into what you can play comfortably. Don't push yourself too far and I guarantee you breaking those chords like I did here, just syncopating the rhythm does wonders and if you can possibly play your melody as an octave, it will bring a whole new richness to everything you play. Good luck! <laughs>